This morning, SoCal Spotlight is in the Inland Empire community of Moreno Valley. Yeah, you can spend a holiday on Lake Paris or find a great mom and pop restaurant. Here's our Sheba Turk. And how I would describe the city of Moreno Valley is starting off with our motto, right? The city where dreams soar. Ulysses Cabrera is the mayor of Moreno Valley and he loves that the area has so much opportunity. We still have uh, a lot of resources that can be tapped into, whether that be uh, our, our residents, right? The talent that we have growing here at home and also things like um, available land to build on. During the pandemic, he noticed more and more people moving to Moreno Valley. During a period of, you know, about two years or so, they were coming here because it's more affordable. Affordability is a part of the reason he says that Moreno Valley is a great place to buy a home and raise a family. The city is currently upgrading its spaces for families and residents to enjoy. Currently, the city of Moreno Valley is undergoing a $6 million investment into all 33 of our city parks. The city also has several splash pads. We are one of the main entrances into Lake Paris. So if you come on any holidays, especially July 4th, it is it is completely sold out and you have to literally park in our city and walk uh, for about a mile or so into the lake. There's also a $60 million effort to repave roads and add more bike lanes to make the area more walkable and accessible for the city's many residents. Residents as of the last census of that about 60% Latino and of that 60% a little over 90% Mexican origin. Which is why some of the most popular spots to eat are Latino businesses. We do have a lot of popular local uh, mom and pops. One of them is Sonora Grill, it's a big one. Uh, Sonora Grill, they're popular and famous for their, their hot dogs and kind of a, a, a interesting take on Mexican food. And Moreno Valley is looking forward to the future. Work is underway to finish the Moreno Valley Town Center and plans are finalized for another exciting project. Revitalization of the Moreno Valley Mall, which is going to be huge because uh, as, as you may have seen, there's this uh, transition to build more mixed use developments, which includes housing com combined with retail, commercial, shopping, dining, entertainment, movie theaters, all in one walkable place. Sheba Turk, KCAL News. Aww. I haven't been out there. I want to go now. You know, I went a few years ago, and I, uh, judging by what Sheba just showed us, Mo Valley is certainly growing. Mo Valley. Yeah. Mo oh, Valley. It's got a little nickname, too. Mm -hmm. I like that. Spicy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sheba.